So today let's take a look at those super cheap Chinese DIY power banks. It comes in various colors. It's a nice power bank with USB in, USB out, and there is a reason they call it DIY. And this is because it comes with no cells. There is a keychain for it and space for two 18650 lithium ion batteries. But there are none. You have to put your own cells into it. The white one is about the same, but it comes with two keychains. Not sure why. This is probably because it's for two cells, so they have to put two keychains into it. That's generous. So this is what they call DIY. Just click, click and take a look. I have built my own power bank. Isn't it nice? So let's test it. I will put my USB meter into it. And it shows 5 volts. That's okay. Let's plug in this USB load. It's a test load. Now it's delivering about 0.8 amps and the voltage is OK. Now switch it to higher current and the voltage drops significantly. So this one can deliver about 1 amp. Up to about 1.1 amp it's OK and then the voltage drops. There is a blue LED indicating a load drawing power from it. You can of course recharge it using this USB in connector. So let's test it. And a red blinking LED is indicating charging. And when you get a steady red light it's fully charged. It's obviously so cheap because there are no cells in it. It's just a plastic box with a tiny circuit board in it. There is just an 8-pin chip, 3 capacitors, 1 inductor, USB in connector, USB out connector, two LEDs and battery contacts. And that's it. There is nothing else in it. The chip has no marking on it. But let's try to draw a schematic. So here's the schematic and there's almost nothing. This is the USB out connector with 5 volts and ground pins and the data pins are connected to indicate it's capable of 1 amp. This is the USB in connector. Both connectors have a capacitor in parallel to it. There are the LEDs to indicate charging and discharging. This is the chip. There are the two batteries in parallel and a capacitor in parallel to them. And there is an inductor for the boost converter to be able to convert from 3.7 volts to 5 volts. In one of them the inductor is 1.5 microhenry and in the other one it's 3.3 microhenry. So this is the entire power bank. The chip just contains everything. Some of the sellers will send it with a cable. Some of them don't, but you can use a cable from your phone, for example. The charging current is about... 0.4 amps. When the battery is almost flat, the blue LED is blinking. And now it shut down. It shuts down at about... 3 volts. That's OK. When the battery is completely flat, the charging current is a bit higher. About 0.65 amps. As it charges, it goes slowly down. Now the question is what happens when I try to charge it and discharge it at the same time. Nothing happens. When it's charging, it disables the output. The open circuit voltage is about 4.2 and 
That's good because this is also the charging voltage. In the other one, the charging voltage is slightly less, but this is okay because like this the battery will last more cycles. So those power banks are quite nice, but there is one possible trap. You can easily put the batteries in it the wrong way. There seems to be no polarity protection, because the chip is acting like a diode in reverse. So it's acting about like this. So putting the battery in reverse will cause a short circuit, and this will probably destroy the battery or the power bank. It can also cause a fire or explosion. Those springs are made of steel, which is not a good conductor. So in case of short circuit, they will get red hot. For more safety, you can put a fuse in series with the batteries, or even one fuse for each battery like this. You could also remove those springs and use a piece of wire to connect the batteries directly. Solder them or spot weld them. There is a lot of space here and here, so you can easily add fuses in it. Those LEDs are not much visible through the cover. Slightly. This piece of plastic keeps the board in place, but it also works as a light guide. You could drill a hole through it to make the LEDs more visible. And this one is kind of a bigger brother of this single cell power bank, which has almost the same construction. So those power banks are definitely not bad for the price, but there is still some space for improvements, like adding the fuses. So this is Diagon Wild, and see you in my next videos.